Mental is the physical as four to one. Your mental strength is four to one as compared to your physical strength. He is a power forward with size and strength. You might be going against somebody, you both are tired, but who's mentally stronger to push through and get it done? Dylan Mitchell soaring. My name is Dylan Mitchell. I'm a power forward. I'm a college basketball player, and this is grind mode. Dylan Mitchell hurting the rim again. I was big on football. I played a wide receiver all the way to like seventh grade. One time my mom asked me to go to a basketball tryout. She said if I went, she'll just take me and some of my friends out to like the movies. And I wasn't a big fan of it. I was didn't want to go, but I was like, man, let me take one for the team. So I went to the tryout, ended up falling in love with the sport. By the time I was about seventh, eighth grade, dropped football and just stuck with basketball. And now it's, I'm in love with the game and it's a blessing. So I'm shout out to mom for making me do that. Somebody needs to measure this young man's vertical. <laughs> One of my biggest moments, you know, playing at Mount Ver and playing in high school in general throughout the four years was that tip dunk against IMG. Like that was just, it caught me off guard. I wasn't, I was kind of surprised I just did that. Like I'm going back on defense, acting like nothing, but in my head, I'm like, what did I just do? Like shot the floater, it was off. I just jumped back up using my athletic ability and just somehow caught it flushed it back in. I was I was actually surprised more than anybody else. There may not be a better athlete in the country. I would say mental toughness gave me a big edge, you know, once I got on the court coming from football because I felt like I was a lot tougher than all the boys on the court and it just helped me be more confident in my game. You know, I was way more conditioned on the court. So, you know, playing both sides, playing football and basketball, I would say football would definitely help me, you know, to become where I am now. Uh, Dylan Mitchell is just fun. I think that's the biggest way to put it. Like, I like to have fun. I like to smile. I'm real caring. I care about others that's around me. I care about the people I love. I like to keep my circle small and stuff, but I think the biggest thing that anybody that knows me can say is I'm all about fun. I'm all about having fun. Big 12 media. <laughs> Kansas City. Big 12 media day. Come on now. Come on. You know, being chosen to participate in the Big 12 Media Day was big. You know, you know when I first uh, was told by the coaches, they were like, Yo, are you sure you want to do this? Not a lot of freshmen do this. But I was like, I know I was prepared. I know I'm able to do it. I know what I'm capable of. And I'm not, I don't get shy or nothing like that in front of cameras or something. So it was big. It was big for me. I thought it was, it was a learning experience. It was another opportunity to experience new things. The experience so far from coming from Florida and playing high school ball to college, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of growing. Being at Mount Ver, I was in a dorm living by myself away from the family anyway. So once I transitioned to Texas, like I was all good. That was never an adjustment I had to make. But then just the, the learning, the growing I had to do, you know, to do stuff on my own, you know, make sure I take care of myself, not having my mom or someone there. But then at the same time, having the support that I have at Texas helped me a lot. <laughs> My bread and butter in my game, I would definitely say I take pride in defense. You know, the defensive side, being able to switch on guards, being able to continue to work on guarding bigger guys and stuff like that. You know, I know when I get on that court, like even playing against some guys that I know that are my friends, once you get on that court, nobody's your friend other than, you know, your brothers that wear the same jersey as you. So I like to have fun off the court, but once you step on that court, it's all about it's all about competitive and who wants it more. I would say I'm out of my game after, defensively, I like to watch Kawhi, Jimmy Butler, some of those guys who just go at it. You know, they don't take a playoff, they play hard. Those are probably two of the guys I like to watch, especially Jimmy Butler, you know, he's like a, he got a dog mentality in him that I like to, I like to see. And then Giannis, the way he uses his length and his athleticism to get places that a lot of people can't get, up, get there. So those are some guys I like to watch, and, you know, model my game after and watch film on. I want to win games, and if it takes me to, whatever it takes for me to win games, that's what I'm going to do. So knowing your role, knowing what the team needs, knowing what you can bring to the team, that's probably the biggest thing. When I first got there, the way we all just connected with each other, but then we went on a big retreat where we got out of town, no phones, stuff like that, and really just spent time with each other, really got to know each other. Because, you know, in life, everybody goes through adversity. You go through things that, you know, you can't control. We've learned to control what we can control. Grind mode to me just means, you know, going hard every time, you, every time, no matter what it is. Even if it's off the court stuff, you're always grinding, you're always trying to get better, you're always working to get better, and you stay humble with it. Like, you know what you have to do and you just keep grinding until you get there. That's, when I hear that, that's what I would say it means to me. 
check out more videos like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.